What's up guys, it's Clay Town here, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, comic books. So yeah, here we go. I myself am relatively new to actually owning hard copies of uh, comic books um, and actually reading comic books. I've always been more of a watching the television shows, the films, um, you know, looking up stuff on the internet if I really wanted to know more about the comic book character. But in the last, like, I'd say year or two, I've really gotten into actually reading the comic books. So I thought I'd give you a couple of my own recommendations of the copies I actually own, and then just an idea of how you can uh, get into comic books without, you know, getting overwhelmed. Uh, my first recommendation is uh, Batman The Long Halloween. It's a fantastic story, Batman story, uh, written by uh, Jeff Loeb. And uh, it's basically a story about, uh, it's kind of a murder mystery type of deal. Uh, Batman and Jim Gordon and Harvey Dent, before he's Two-Face, are investigating a murder, mur se several different murders that span across, uh, I believe, an entire year. I think even maybe 13 months. It's called The Long Halloween because it takes that long for the story to kind of unfold. It starts on uh, maybe a little bit before Halloween, but the first, like, the story really kind of goes into, you know, the actual main plot from Halloween to the next Halloween. And it's a really good story. Uh, it's a great uh, kind of origin story for Two-Face, and I would really recommend it. I'm actually currently rereading it right now. So, uh, yeah, Long Halloween. Great story. My next recommendation is Batman The Dark Knight Returns. Uh, if you've ever even heard of Batman in the comic book world, you've probably heard of Batman The Dark Knight Returns. It's written by Frank Miller, and it was actually one of the major inspirations for uh, the recent DC film Batman v Superman, Don Justice. It's basically it's a story of a retired Batman that kind of, uh, he's much older, he's like probably nearly 60 years old, and he kind of comes out of retirement and uh, starts investigating these uh, mutants, people that are kind of uh, taking over Gotham. And it's really a good story of, of Batman after he's gone through so much. He's lost Jason. Uh, uh, Nightwing is out of the picture right now. And he kind of gets a new, a new hope and a new Robin. Um, she's she's not probably, typically someone's fan favorite Robin, but she is a, one of the Robins in the, that mythos, uh, Carrie Kelly. I like her. She basically seems like more of a Batgirl, but is a Robin. But And as the story unfolds, and uh, you see a lot of cool characters. Like, a, a, there's a major... Uh, moment with Batman and the Joker, which I don't want to get into in case you haven't read it, but it's really good. And then the probably the pinnacle of why so many people love this is near the end of the story, the Batman versus Superman fight, which I always love. And yeah, so Batman and the Dark Knight Returns, another great story. And of course, I can't make a list of recommendations without bringing up Batman the Killing Joke, which is probably the best uh, Joker story ever in any comic book medium, in my opinion. It's a great uh, uh, telling of one of what I consider my personal canonical version of the Joker origin story. And it's a great, it has a great ending that's kind of, in, can, you can interpret whether you, uh, how what you think, actually how it ends. And... This is actually the deluxe edition, so it kind of comes with another extended uh, ending that's actually pretty interesting. But yeah, Batman the Killing Joke, if you want a good Joker story, I advise you to pick this one up. And, and my last uh, hard copy recommendation that I actually own is Batman Hush. Probably, probably my favorite. I know I made a top five Batman uh, comic books before. But I, I've I've done some thinking and read all these again, and Batman Hush definitely probably my favorite uh, comic book, probably ever currently. Uh, it's good Batman story, ball, good uh, 
interpretation of the romance between Batman and Catwoman. And it contains pretty much all your favorite uh, DC characters. Superman has an appearance, Lois Lane, Harley Quinn, Huntress, Catwoman, all, all of them. They're all in there. Joker. Uh, and it's, it's a really good Batman story. And uh, personally, this is actually my pick for what the Batman solo film should be is Batman Hush. It would be a cool story, and they've already got several of the characters already cast in the DC uh, extend, Extended Universe. There's uh, Killer Croc, Harley Quinn. Uh, all, they really need to just cast a couple characters, and they could cut some characters out of the film. But personally, Batman Hush, my probably my top recommendation of the comic books you need to read. And I really would love for it to be in the films. My last recommendation is to uh, get the uh, DC Comics app on your phone, and it, uh, basically you can download a lot of uh, free previews of several uh, DC Comics. I've actually read uh, uh, the first issues of Harley Quinn, um, Crisis on Infinite Earths, Green Arrow, Birds of Prey. Uh, you get a lot of pretty good previews of whether you want to, hey man, I, maybe I want to buy a whole graphic novel of uh, maybe the first volume of this series because this, this first little preview I got was really good. So uh, that's a good way to get into them. Um, and if you're not really sure what even uh, to pick um, or where to even start once you even read the issues of, hey, where should I start with this character or whatever, um, download uh, the DC Comics Essentials uh, uh, basically thing from the DC Comics uh, app or whatever and it's it's got uh, basically essential graphic uh, graphic novels and comics and stuff that you should read for each character and like the whole Justice League as a whole and the Suicide Squad and everything and uh, yeah, I think that's the, that's really the way I've been finding different uh, graphic novels that I've personally been like, hey, this character's, this version of the graphic novel uh, looks really good. I want to read that one. And uh, yeah, so that's what I would say for you to do if you want to get into comics, but don't want to get overwhelmed. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. This was just me kind of giving you a little, you know, uh, recommendations and stuff. So uh if uh, you have any questions, uh, leave some comments and leave the questions in the comments below. And uh, yeah, thank you. Bye.